So another big selling point, I think, of this camera is the optical image stabilization that's got something, I think, similar to the, uh, the Olympus IBIS sort of, where it, it moves the sensor or something as well as the lens. And I really wanted to test how that is because I've seen some videos that, that seem to show it doing amazing things that didn't seem real. Uh, and considering we're going to be shooting a lot of handheld stuff, it seemed like something that we really should see how it works. So here are some tests of the DVX200 zoomed in all the way. And this is with OIS on. And now this is the same thing with OIS turned off. So you can see it's, it's an absolutely dramatic difference. And it was a windy day, but still it's, it's really a huge difference. Another thing I wanted to test with the optical image stabilization was uh, how it went with sort of a walk and talk kind of feel. So with OIS on, with it off, and uh, versus having a glide cam. And also with the stabilization off on the glide cam. So it's a, it's a pretty big difference uh, between the handheld. There's, there's definitely like a, a big jerk motion every time I take a step with the optical image stabilization off versus a pretty smooth, I mean, you can tell it's handheld, but it doesn't feel like jarring. I'm sure if I was running, it might be a little worse, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. Here's our test with the Wieldy stabilizer, which is like a glide cam or a steady cam. And, uh, I tried it with both optical image stabilization on and off, and I really didn't find that there was that much of a difference between the two. Uh, I, was, I was worried that maybe like having optical image stabilization on, on a tripod that you get some sort of jiggly effect. That didn't happen. It seems quite smooth, and it, it seems to take a little bit of the wobble out of it that I had in, in the, the non-stabilized version, so that's interesting. We also tried to put it on a DJI Ronin. Uh, because we have one lying around the studio, so hey, why not try to put it on? The camera's just way too long. Uh, the eyepiece kept bumping against the back of the, of the Ronin, and I mean, it, it, it seems like it would be great, but I think the camera's just way too long, and it, it's, it's, it's too front heavy for it. So that's, that's a little unfortunate. I don't think I need to have it on the Ronin, but it would have been nice to have that option.